how to calculate the size of electrical cables here we have a setup and we have total connector load of this much and here the demand factor is 0.8 that is 80 percentage so our maximum demand is this much and it is the MDB main distribution board I am electrical engineer to learn about this please don't skip this video till its end step one is find maximum demand current of this panel for that equation is I is equal to P by V root 3 and here for this KVA root of KW square plus KVAR square because you know for this MDB we have a capacitor bank so for to size this cable we need to consider the capacitor bank also that's why this equation and here the KVAR is equal to 320 KVAR I have already done a video for to find the capacitor bank size so I will put the link in the description box please see that video first so the answer is 1215.2 kva and here I have put everything on this first equation so the answer is 1690.6 ampere the next step is applying derivative factor the derivative factor depends upon the cable route you might have seen this type of equation it is the main derivative factor and the main derivative factor k depends upon the several other derivative factor constants but in our calculation i am not going to calculate through this way because in our practical experience it is time consuming instead of this method we do thumb rule if the cable has a length of less than or equal to 20 meter then we would normally consider an 80 percentage of derivative factor the length of the cable here is only 20 meter and if the cable has a length of more than 20 meter then you need to consider 70 percentage of derivative factor here i applied this 80 percentage derivative factor so 2113.2 amps the next step is choose cable it is our cable current rating so we are going to choose a cable that can handle this current so the one core of 630 mm square xlpe cable can handle 750 ampere so the number of cable is equal to derated load current by cable current rating is equal to 2113.2 by 750 so the answer is 2.8 number of cables so approximately three number of cable runs if you get a number of 2.7 here then also you can take the next number of cable that is the 3 number but if you get here less than or equal to 2.6 that means if it is 2.6 or 2.5 2.4 up to 2.2 then my recommendation is don't take the 3 number of cables for this in our case we need only 2.8 number but we take 3 number of cables right it's 3 into 630 mm square cable that is 3 into 750 is equal to 2250 that is actually the cable writing but here we only require 2 double 3.2 so the difference between these two is 136.8 amps that means if we install this 3 number of cable over here then that cable extra have the capacity of 136.8 ampere if instead of this 2.8 if we get 2.7 then this difference will be increases if it is 2.6 then the difference again increases and if it is 2.2 the difference will be too much it means if you get the number of cable is 2.2 to 2.6 don't take 3 and if you get 3.2 to 3.6 don't take 4 suppose you get 2.2 and you take the next number of cable that is 3 number then electrically there is no problem your system is too good because your conductor is too heavy so electrically it's not a problem but the problem is financial it means for a low load current you are taking a high cable so if you are doing a big project then you will lose so much of your money if you get 2.1 3.1 4.1 etc then you can take 2 3 
four number of cables 4.1 you don't need to more worry in our case if you get the number of 2.2 to 2.6 then instead of taking three you need to take next lower cable rating so the next lower cable means 500 mm square and you need to do all the steps like this and due to the lower cable the number of runs will be increased this 500 mm square it may be in between 3 to 4 or between 4 to 5 like that and when the number of runs increases you need to install very large cable tray for your purpose if you are okay with that then you can go ahead with the lower cable rating one thing you need to remember here this 2113.2 amps is going to pass through one phase so for one phase we need three runs of one core into 630 mm square so for three phases nine into one core 630 mm square xlpe cable is required the next step is voltage drop calculation voltage drop is equal to millivolt into ampere into length by n into thousand here i have substituted every value so the answer is 0.7 volt the next point is percentage voltage drop we need to find so this 0.7 volt divided by our system voltage the answer is 0.2 percentage between transformer and the main db the maximum percentage voltage drop allowed is 0.5 percentage this value is less than 0.5 percentage that means our cable is past the voltage drop calculation between transformer and mdb always less than or equal to 0.5 percentage voltage drop is allowed and between mdb and sndb 1.5 percentage is allowed and between sndb and db or mcc that is motor control center less than or equal to 2 percentage is allowed and between the db or mcc and the final load the final load may be anything means our motor heater etc here is less than or equal to three percentage the next step is checking short circuit capacity of cable cable short circuit capacity must be greater than system short circuit at the point at the point means where we are installing our particular cable here the cable short circuit capacity is equal to a k by root t a is 630 mm square and k is a constant so this value 143 143 divided by root 0.1 it is the time that means 285 kilo amps here i have taken this 0.1 as our time why i have taken this i have already done a video about this i will put that link in the description box please see that video next we need to find the system short circuit at the point here you need to consider the short circuit current at the secondary of transformer but if you calculate cable between sndb and mdb you need to consider the short circuit current at the sndb but here only we are considering the short circuit current at the secondary of the transformer because the cable from this mdb is directly connected to the secondary of transformer here you cannot see a circuit breaker then the short circuit appeared on the secondary of this transformer will directly affects our cable that short circuit is 27.8 kilo amps i have done a previous video about how to calculate the short circuit at the secondary of a transformer so i will put the link in the description box please see that video so in this case our cable short circuit capacity is 285 kilo amps is greater than this 27.8 kilo amps that means our cable is past this short circuit checking also that means the nine run of 630 mm square xlpe copper cable is suitable for our system so the next one is the neutral cable for mdb we always need half of the phase conductor because on this mdb both the balanced and unbalanced loads are connected 
So for neutral, we need half of that. 3 into 1 core into 300 mm square copper XLP E cable for neutral conductor. The next one is earth cable for our system. This S is the phase conductor, okay? In our system, for one phase, we required 3 into 1 core 630 mm square copper cable. So this 630 is greater than 400. So we require this one. So the answer is 3 into 1 core into 150 mm square copper XLPE cable. If you want to get more videos with lot of information like this, please consider to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.